hello everyone this is asmrf today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you the settings and the editing process of food photography that means the secret settings you can tell it so today i got some pictures food pictures that's the this type of food photography and i'll edit this one i used here a light uh, and the camera the external flash icon is v500 and i use the camera d610 nikon full frame and lens that is the 50 mm prime and in a background i used uh, um, blurry glasses which is like that and this one a hand and no extra light setup or other else other stuffs and then i got this picture but in this picture if i zoom it in everything is in a proper sharpness and lights everything but i need to edit this one for the background and other purpose just because of you are getting here some something I want to focus the product then i have to just edit this photograph so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon the amazing thing of this tutorial is that i'll give you that preset free of cost so if you want to get this preset please check out my video description so at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and then go to the filter and camera filter and you know the version of creative cloud you're getting the camera filter in free of cost otherwise you have to install it manually one thing is that before that i have to remove this spot so i have to go the spot healing brush tool just confirm that the content never is selected and make it normal and the size 80 pixel that's good or you can make it bigger by pressing the third bracket opening or closing so just select once it will vanish so everything is good and now i'll open it up in a camera filter filter camera filter and then here is the preset options and load the settings and food photography and hit the ok button yeah and in this photo i just got this type of amazing look so if you need you can just adjust the light of the skin so here is the luminance yeah and here is the options of exposure if you need you can change it out so that's fine and the variance yeah that's fine and the contrast that's good so you're getting like that so before one and after one the before one and after one in this photograph you are getting that's um, not much lighted and the other stuffs in this photograph you are getting everything is like the shiny and the eye friendly and eye catchy actually so you are getting this preset free of cost please check out my video description so hit the ok button yeah but the hand is not properly smooth like that so for that i'll go to the filter and photo toolbox and skin finer and now i'll edit this one before that you have to make copy by pressing ctrl j yeah and then filter and the photo toolbox skin finer yeah that's good and make it zoom like this one minus this one yeah in this portion i'll add some I'll reduce the saturation add some brightness like that and the shadow a little bit that's good and highlight i'll make it like that smoothness and everything like yeah the hand color will be like that so you're getting this type of looks then hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and the before one and after one but in this photo the burger is good but in this photo the burger is not uh, tot properly in, uh, in uh, exposure so for that i have to make it mask and then go to the brush options select this brush and size will be 50 or you can make it bigger that's good make it black 
and then just press over here yeah that's fine so you're getting the previous look of the burger and that's fine so before yeah only I change the hand so that's good the before one and after one yeah if you need you can just make it crop like a 16 is to 9 and hit the tick button yeah it will be more amazing so this one is the tricks to edit the food photography if you need to change the background color you have to go to the adjustment and the photo color balance and if you need to make it like that or like that yeah that's fine that's good that's fine so you're getting this image like that the before one and after one the this one is like a raw but raw or non-edited but when you are getting this preset and applying these techniques you are getting the professional look so i think it will be help you out a lot and if you need you can check out my video description and until the next video i am so i'm signing out today and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon